this video is about form assets and more specifically the media class and this is also the last video in the topic of forms so we are finally done well actually we will be done with this topic in the end of this video so i have here my form uh, which is related to the student model and I also just render it here in my view. Uh, I just pass this form to create student template, which is just uh, displaying this form. Uh, we will not work with any post data uh, in this video, so I just commented it out. And so as you can see, when we open this page, the design here is not the best it's just very simple labels uh, you know very simple button very simple form in general and when you develop the real application that uh, the other people will use the other people you wa will want to have some kind of a design here for your form and you can do that you can provide the design for your form using the form assets so i will not actually implement the design uh, in this video i will not implement any css uh, you know stuff here i will not implement any javascript stuff here to have some animation and stuff like that but i just want in this video show you how you can actually include this uh, this styling and JavaScript animations in your form. And basically, uh, you can do it uh, when you use class media in your form. And here, basically, you can specify, for example, CSS. For example, for the media all, we can specify this uh, this file, pretty CSS. And right now, if we reload this uh, this form and we take a look at the page source, we don't actually see anything here. And we don't see anything here because in our template we actually should uh, kind of include this form media stuff. I need to put this stuff here. And now it's working. So yeah, this is actually uh, the format, how you should uh, actually define your CSS files here. And as you can see, when we uh, displayed it in, the, in our template here, we got this stuff here. So this is basically how we display our media in our uh, HTML form. And if you click on this class, click on this file, uh, we actually open this file and you can see that uh, this is how the path look like and basically uh, here I just created this uh, static folder and added this pretty CSS file which doesn't really do anything uh, right now so uh, basically if you want to include uh, your CSS files this is uh, this is how you should uh, organize your path you can also specify static like this and if you reload the page you can still here uh, see this path uh, if you don't want to specify if you don't want to put your files in this static folder but you want to use for example some CSS folder uh, you can do that too and then uh, you can see that this uh, path changes here uh, for now we don't have any css folders but if you 
created that it would work but for now let's just leave it at static and the other thing that you can specify is javascript in this case we specify it like that uh, for example you can specify second file and it will also be available it should be available at uh, this static uh, folder i don't have any anything there but you know if you if you actually want to use it uh, you would need to import these files in your uh, static folder along with css files there are other ways to uh, actually specify this uh, media class for example you can specify it for particular uh, widget new text input forms text input and we can specify it here and then we can actually specify this widget for for the name field new text input and it's okay and now once again if we take a look at the page source we still got uh, these files here because we specified it in our widget and if you delete js files and reload the page we see only css files so this is one more way how how you can specify your uh, media class you can specify it in your widgets and then you can specify this widget for your fields and then you will still be able to access this uh, media files using form.media i guess one more thing that i wanted to show you is inheritance for your widgets with the class media uh, basically if we for example create a new widget which is uh, which inherits from this new text input if you don't want to inherit all these uh, media files you can say extend false and then you will not actually inherit from them so for example let's delete that stuff and let's pass and now let's reload the page and you can see all these files here and if you say extend false then reload this page we don't have anything because we didn't actually inherit this uh, media class from this widget so i guess this is uh, all i wanted to show you again as i said i didn't uh, actually created any css uh, you know stylings here any javascript uh, animations because it's not the topic of django so i just skipped that stuff but i just wanted to show you how you can actually uh, use your media class and basically that's that's all uh, for this lesson and also uh, this is the end of the sequence of lessons about forms and as usual i will just ask you to please subscribe and post a comment and give me a like because uh, this is the only way how i can uh, see that my videos are worth making and this is the only way i can extend the reach of my channel to other people and get more subscribers so your activity means a lot to me and Thank you for supporting me.